Hey guys, AJ here again, 3D Printing Systems. So another maintenance video for you today. We're gonna to do a, a video on how to change the nozzle on your Outbox 3D printer. All right, so we'll start by shutting down our printer. And then we're gonna remove the print head. So we can take off this print head cover, dig our rainbow cable underneath. Once our printer's shut down, take the rainbow cable out and then pop the print head out of its magnet mount. All right, so we've taken our print head out of its mount. Next thing we're gonna do is take off the print head cover. All right, now we'll take out the fan from the top of the print head. Hold the motor in your left hand, hold the print head cover at the top in your right hand, slide them apart, give them a little bit of a wiggle if it's tight, and that print head cover will come away. Now underneath here, we've got our extruder block. That this, that's this big block piece here with the heater and heater sensor and the yellow cable running up to our print head circuit board. We've also got the drive gear cover. That's this white molded piece here with the two screws in it. Underneath that drive gear cover is our drive gear that pulls the filament through and the filament runs here, down the feeder, all the way through into our shooter block. Lastly, with our nozzle at the end, which we're looking to, to replace or change. Now that we've exposed our nozzle, we'll plug it back into the printer to heat it up. So just pop it straight back in exactly how it is. Put the rainbow cable into the top of the print head and turn your printer on. Now we're gonna heat the extruder or the nozzle. To do that, hold down the center button on the side of your up box. Now it'll take a couple of minutes for your extruder to get to, to get the temperature. When it does, you'll hear a beep just like it has now. Once it does that, flick it off at the back, take the rainbow head cable out, and take your print head out so we can take the nozzle off quickly while it's still hot. Now while our nozzle's still hot, we need these two tools, so we need a pair of pliers, and we'll need the nozzle spanner that came with your printer to take that nozzle off. So our nozzle's still pretty hot. We've only just taken it out of the printer. Hold the extruder block from the opposite side to where the cable is in your left hand. Use the nozzle in your right hand and the nozzle should come apart. Now the reason we hold it with the pliers is to prevent any damage coming to the extruder block. So what could happen otherwise is this it may twist around or you could even break the nozzle off of the, uh, off the extruder block. Now that our, that our nozzle's off, our extruder block is still hot, we're gonna put the new nozzle on. So just twist it on a couple of times with your fingers, being very, very careful not to burn yourself. Once you've got it on, we can start tightening it up. Now if your extruder does start to cool during this process, you will, you will need to put it back in your printer, perform another withdrawal or an extrude to heat the nozzle back up to temperature to be able to put it back on. Right? Again, holding it with the pliers to prevent any damage coming to the extrude block, putting the new nozzle on so it's nice and tight, and we're all done. Ready to put the print head back together. Now the reason you might find that your previous nozzle was quite tight on the extruder block or wouldn't come off very easily, the plastic that's left over, if it's cold, acts sort of like a glue, right? So like a cold glue. So to break that bond or to break that glue, you do need to heat your extruder to allow the nozzle to come away easily. If you don't heat your extruder, there's a very high likelihood that you can damage the extruder block and then you'll need a replacement. Now when you do start using your new nozzle, you will need to check that you've got it tightened properly. And the best way to do that is, when you're during your first few prints, check that there's no leaking around the edge of the nozzle here. So if you don't have the nozzle tightened up properly, this is where you're likely to see plastic start to bulge out of, right? So if that happens, make sure your shoot is hot, go through the process again to remove the nozzle, clean as much of that plastic off, maybe even grab a spare nozzle, and you'll have to put that one, that new nozzle back on.